Hi there, this is Alexis from Inquiry into Education. I'm the Academic Director of Parity Education, and I also write on the blog inquiryintoeducation.com. The book I'm reviewing today is Piggy Book by Anthony Brown. It was published in 1989 by Dragonfly Books. This picture book is about a family by the name of Piggott. Mr. and Mrs. Piggott have two sons, Simon and Andrew. The book reveals that Mrs. Piggott does all the work in the house, including the cooking, dishes, and the laundry, and then goes to work to her daily job after. The boys and their father are very preoccupied with their important jobs of going to work or to school and are very demanding of Mrs. Piggott. One day, they come home and find a note written by Mrs. Piggott stating that you are pigs and find that Mrs. Piggott is nowhere to be seen. They're left to fend for themselves and learn to appreciate how much work she actually does for them. Mrs. Piggott eventually returns home after they suffer for several days alone, and the book ends with the boys helping around the house and Mrs. Piggott fixing the car. The book is great to delve into topics around gender and gender stereotypes. It's likely that this book actually reflects many households still, and questions can be raised as to why mothers are often expected to do work around the house while fathers or male members of the family aren't necessarily. The illustrations, also done by Anthony Brown, bring a different meaning and level of reading to the book. With each page, there is an increasing number of pigs. There are pigs in the wallpaper, pigs in the mantelpiece, pigs in the salt and pepper shaker, pigs in the newspaper. Students can make the connection that the more pigs there are on the page, the more Mr. Piggott and his sons are behaving like pigs. It should also be noted that once the men in the family begin to actually help around the house, there are no more pigs hiding anywhere in the pictures. I give this book a 4 out of 5. I love most books by Anthony Brown, and this is one of them. The book is extremely enjoyable for students in grades 2 to 5, and they love going on a pig hunt throughout the pages. I think this element in the illustrations really reinforces the message behind the book. Although this has even become a stereotype on its own, the idea that the mother of females in the family do all the housework and cooking, and that the men in the family are still the breadwinners, I know that from reading this to my students that this stereotype still stands and is valuable to ask why this is and reasons for this. On the other hand, I do think it's a really basic way of presenting constructions around gender and think that students older than grade 5 or 6 could handle something more complex or challenging. In some ways, presenting the male chauvinist is a bit of an old idea, and I look forward to reading more books with a more modern take on gender roles and stereotypes. If you think you'd be interested in using Piggy Book in your class and are interested in some activities I did in conjunction with the book, I'll be doing a teacher guide video next week as a follow-up. Additionally, you can also enjoy my book reviews on 10,000 Dresses or The Only Boy in Ballet Class, two other books which inquire into the topic of gender. This is Alexis from inquiryintoeducation.com. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video.